Shalom, shalom, dear friends and family of the All People Synagogue. My name is Rabbi Frank. I feel very privileged to welcome you this day, this Day of Atonement, this Tishrei 10, for this is a day that God has made. And today is a day that we assemble at this, what we refer to as Yiskor service, which literally means to remember, to remember our loved ones who are not with us today physically, but are very much with us in our hearts and minds spiritually. So let's take a few moments in the peacefulness of our sanctuary and let's reflect upon our loved ones, reflecting upon how they touched us, how special they were to us, particularly at this Yiskor service. Yiskor literally means, as I mentioned, to remember. And our Yiskor service is, if you'd like to follow along in our Yiskor prayer book, you may download this prayer book on our website, rabbionline.com, and we will be reciting the names of those who passed away this past year under the title of Recent Demise. Also, you may find in our beautiful Yiskor books uh, those members and friends who have contributed and sponsored these Yiskor services and also have contributed to the welfare and the well-being of our All People Synagogue. In particular, let's turn to our Yiskor prayer book on page two and let's first reflect upon those who have perished in many holocausts throughout the generations as Jews and non-Jews, particularly the Holocaust, Russian pogroms, the Spanish Inquisition, and just recently here in our own country, 9-11. You may find a beautiful dedication to our loved ones on page two in memoriam of our special loved ones, not only Jewish brethren, but also the other larger branches of other faiths around the world. Also on page three is an explanation for Yiskor, Yiskor, as I mentioned, means to remember, and it's a beautiful service in which we gather, as we are here, as friends and family, to remember our loved ones who are not with us today physically. Yiskor is traditionally an awe-inspiring holy tradition that Jews from all around the world observe with fervor. It is a prayer service in honor of our loved ones who have departed this life. The Yisker service is conducted a few times during the year, but particularly one of the most profound days is now at the Day of Atonement. Each of these days, special prayers, which we will be reciting in a few moments, are recited in their synagogue in honor of our departed ones, our loved ones who are not with us. It is a sacred teaching of our ancestors of old that the effect of these prayers and by reciting these names beyond uh, sound and time and space brings them back to life spiritually in our hearts and mind. On Yisker Day, we honor and pay tribute to the memory of our departed ones, and we even, in many respects, feel closer to them, even though they're not with us physically. They live on in our hearts and our minds. All that was good in their lives, in their deeds and their values, we resolve to continue as we carry on their name with great honor and respect. So let's take a few moments and listen to the names of those who have departed our life uh, this past year. These are the names that I personally have recited their names and conducted their funeral memorial services this past year. The recent demise from last Yom Kippur in our Book of Remembrance. The memory of the righteous, I pray, will always remain as a blessing. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, blessed are you, dear friends and dear family. Blessed are you, for we've all come together with the spirit of love in our hearts, I know with profound sympathy in our hearts, to hear and reflect the names of our recent departed. Let's begin our reciting of names. During our meditation, we have some beautiful music to play. We will also recite the El Mole Rachamim and hear the sound of the beautiful chant of the El Mole Rachamim. Later, we will recite the 23rd Psalm and also, in honor of our loved ones, stand to recite the Kaddish prayer. It's a prayer that has nothing to do with death, but rather a prayer full of life, teaching us to be thankful for the gift of life that we shared with them, the life that we now share together. And we pray one day, may there be a time in which our loved ones will gather as we are here today at Yiskor to recite our name. And I pray it will be many, many years to be from today. So let's take a moment, let's turn to page five, and let's begin our reciting of our Yisker service. Actually, we can start on page four with the beginning of our names.
Gabriel Garrow, Ida Shamowitz, Richard Love, Myrna Lynn Sternberg, Theodore Bushman, Robert Entlich, Donald Arthur Green, Jerry Wolf, Ivan Howard, Malcolm Woodstein, Carolyn Tepper, Burton Ronald Axelrod, Joel Cass, Craig Rosen, Joan B. Goldstein, Michael Meyer Jacobson, Rosalind Eva Grant, Faith Block, Bernard Cohen, Judith Fuchs, Beverly Ross, Herbert Leslie Narutsky, Ethel Leibowitz, Bernard Cohen, Judith Fuchs, Beverly Ross, Herbert Leslie Narotsky, Ethel Leibowitz, Bernard Cohen, Larry Banks, Helen Kirby, Sandra Hendler, Eugene Glansberg, Robert Bob Wool, Bernard Gartner, Eric Steinberg, Saul Bresnick, Shirley Ratzkoff, Morris Levy, Joseph London, Jean Gateman, Sandra Rosen, Stephen J. Gardner, Lorene Ross, Melvin Gorenstein, Rhoda Azar, Anne Pomerantz, Jerry Schraub, Marlene Strickman, Joseph Levy, Bernard Sudek, Arlene Zygen, Leon Amar, Martha Froish, Esther Garfinkel, Sylvia Lisk, Irving Alamowitz, Brooke Carey Smith, Stephen Lee Dubin, Terry Feibish Galise, Mariette Smith, Pamela Ann Lassau, Renee Heck, Harvey Roy Barry, Alice Domash, Peter Kalen Perez, Sylvia Lisk, Jordan H. London, Joseph Nathan, Karen Kaplan, Edgar Rosenberg, Elisa Feldman, Harry Wallerstein, Florence Kanig, Eleanor Bernstein, Sarah Drucker, Phyllis Sola, Sharon Ackerman, Claire Levy, Dr. Leslie Feinsmith, Beatrice Feinstone, Adele Rubin, Harry Epstein, Adrian Curtis, Barbara Lawrence Welshman, Bernice Nelson, Edward Vasserstein, Mitchell Knoll, Sarah Welkowitz, Amy Katz, Leo Goldner, Leonard Charles Feldman, Bernice Ruth Katz, Elaine Shirley Grossfeld, Irving Abramowitz, Leela Harris, Harold Bellabin, Phyllis M. Greenman, George Schechter, Amanda Brittany Mostow, Dimitri Baritsky, Alan Bellman, Judith Bernstein, Jerome Farber, Marilyn Schmelzer, Alfred Sachs, Alvin Berger, Beatrice Bergman, Gerald Gorman, Martin Falk, 
Helene Sidney Schwartz, Walter Steiner, Jean Newman, Joyce Gannick, Thomas H. Lindsay, Gail Francis Kurzer, Mark Joseph, Harriet Sachs, Charles Nathan Lomrantz, Philip Krieger, Oscar Cohen, Ruth Swig Stoner, Dorothy Cohen, Gail Francis Kurzer, Florence Rothman, Eleanor Singer, Martin Klinger, Trudy Hinder, Shirley Ann Barron, Ronnie Swindell, Rosalind Charlotte Kaplan, Lawrence Fogel, Robert Cardos, Florence Teich, Barry Schwibner, Phyllis Scherer, Estelle Sabsells, Elaine Grossfeld, Dennis Backel, Jerome Farber, Harold Bellabin, George Schechter, Faye Romescher, Robert Collins, Dorothy Cohen, Jean Burak, Robert Allen Collins, David Irwin Miller, Fred Sandel, Dorothy Cohen, Faye Roymisher, Morris Epstein, Gertrude Yogel, Marsha Pearlroth, Arthur Pearlroth, Eleanor Pevner, Marilyn Wildstein, Abraham Bain, Oscar Cohen, Daniel Strum, Nikki Caldwell, Ellen Ruth Rabinowitz, Mark Sanders, Ruth Peshwasher, Dolores Strauss, Henry German, Clifford Scherer, Pearl Dollinger, Norma Edith Taylor Silversmith, Mark Stephen Goodless, Judith David, Calvin Wolfman, Rita Kaiser, Arthur Levy, Philip Taub, Rhoda Fliss, Mark Alderman, Mario J. Auguste, Ruth Glazerman, Isaac Barakas, Boris Shevetsky, Robert Carl Tattleman, Susan Gerard, Sandra Fassi, Freda S. Cutler, Betty Sirota, Gloria Becker, Harold Shapot, Rebecca Shapiro, Jean G. Healthman, Alan Scott Lesnar, David Michael Wainland, Karen Rosenfeld Feld, Eric Steinberg, Anita Kamerick, Allison Shirk Levitt, Arlene Cobrin, Mark Stephen Alderman, Muriel Kanov, Nancy Kenny, Alan Stewart Gotkin, Audrey Gardner, William Lewis Lampert, Jessica Lynn Schwartz, Alan Gittleson, Ronald Mark Cherry, Ina Sobel, Bruce Neil Browd, Paul Wolf Casper, Carol Sue Tolchin, Benjamin Simon, Gilbert Lewis, Albert Shapiro, Samuel Lieberman, Karen Andrea Feld, Seymour H. Metnick, Ida Rose, Dr. Howard Schiffer, William Lewis Lampert, Arlene R. Cobram, Lee Aronson, Betty Sirota, Lisa Rose Stein, Sylvia Ellis, Gloria Becker, Audrey Gardner, hey. Esther Garfinkel Abramowitz, Michael Mostel, Janice Lieberman, Marvin Mizrahi, Alan Schiffman, Rhoda Jane Rubin, Roslyn Greenberg, Shirley Reinstein, Robert Margulies, Robert J. Fenstersheim, Michael Anthony Bradley Fenstersheim, 
Esther Finkelstein, Susan Abrahams, Ellen Economis, Joan Krieger, Alan David Garfield, Marty Weiner, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and all coronavirus COVID-19 victims around the world. All of a shalom, alayah shalom, may they all be at peace. Amen. So in this honor of our loved ones, let's recite a prayer that was created by our ancestors, particularly from King David, who wrote the beautiful 23rd Psalm, perhaps at a moment like this, when he questioned God, questioned God's ways, questioned life, and he wrote this Psalm, as we believe, to build up his faith in God and in life, as I pray it will do for all of us as we turn to our Yiskor prayer book to recite the 23rd Psalm, shall we? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I know all of us are experiencing that moment as we walk through the valley of the shadow of our loved one's death, particularly this past year, we're commanded, though, not to dwell here long, but rather to walk through this period together, supported by our beautiful prayers from our ancestors, by loved ones, family, and friends, to go back to our lives and live life and enjoy life to its fullest. It's commanded in our teachings to live each moment to its fullest, as if tomorrow is our own last day, and God has summoned our loved ones. They have entered into God's eternal heavens, a place where we will all be one day. So until that time, let's be inspired by this beautiful psalm, go forth in our lives, and live life, and enjoy life to its fullest. Adonai Natan, Adonai Lakach, Yahweh Shem Adonai Mavarach. For God has given, God has taken away. Blessed and praised be the name of the Lord our God. And let us believe, I pray, with the real conviction that their lives, their spirit, their neshima, their soul will live on just as the near Tamid, that shines in every synagogue around the world. This light, the eternal light, never goes out. Darkness of death can never extinguish the light that they have shined upon all of us. And let us all say, Amen. Dear friends, at this day of atonement, when we are commanded to be at one with ourselves, at one with our congregation of friends, at one with humanity, at one with God, we truly are becoming at one, spiritually speaking, with our loved ones as we recall them at this hour. Also, you can turn to our Yishkor Memorial Prayer Book, and we'll take a few moments in silent prayer to reflect upon our loved ones who have passed away uh, throughout our life. You may find their names uh, and their memory in our Book of Remembrance, Remembered by and Memory of, but also, too, we have what we refer to as Yishkor Prayers, which are specifically created for a father, a mother, a husband, a wife. May we never know, God forbid, a child, uh, a brother or a sister, those who have touched our lives, perhaps we didn't even know them in person, but we knew them through their name. They've been an inspiration to us throughout history and in memory of our fellow congregants of the All People Synagogue. Let's take a moment, let's reflect upon them. We have some beautiful music. We'll recite the El Mole Rachamim in their honor. El Mole Rachamim Shochen Bemromim On page 46, we can follow along in English. Then we'll listen to the beautiful chant from our cantor, the El Mole Rachamim. Let's turn to page 46. Dear God, full of compassion, for you are the one who dwells high in the heavens that shines forth as the brightness of the firmament. We ask you, dear God, to continuously grant a perfect rest beneath your sheltering presence to all of our loved ones who have gone to their eternal home. 
And may us now, O God of mercy, shelter them forever under the wings of your presence. May their soul be bound up in the bond of everlasting peace, everlasting life. And grant, dear God, that the memories of their lifetime that we all now recall, may these wonderful memories continue to live with us, to uplift our spirits and inspire us, so we too may go forward in our own lives as they have lived their lives to do good and noble and consecrated living as ma'asim tovim, doers of good deeds, to make the world tikkun olam a better place. And let us all say, Amen. Let us hear this beautiful chant, the El Mole Rachamim. El Mole Rachamim paraphrase from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time for everything. There is a time for all things under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to laugh and a time to cry. A time to dance and a time to mourn. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to forget and a time as we are now to remember. This day, this day of atonement, a day of sacred convocation, we remember those who gave us life 
and who have entered into God's eternal heavens. You know, dear friends and fellow members and congregants of the All People Synagogue and those who are not uh, with us uh, throughout the year but maybe are watching now on the internet at rabbionline.com, you know, I am inspired by my late father, Rabbi Dr. Emmett Frank, to be able to conduct this service using some of his words that he has instilled upon me. First, I'd like to just mention, and I have a smile on my face and a tear in my eye. Years ago, my father, Rabbi Dr. Emmett Frank, and I were co-officiating at a funeral service, and the man who passed away was 98 years. And I asked my dad, I said, Dad, you know, these people, the family are, are crying, they're upset, but the man lived to be 98. You would tend to think that they would be so thrilled and honored that they lived a long life and they wouldn't be in a state of mourning as they are, as I can observe. And my father turned to me and he said, son, you know, when it's someone you care about and you love, it's never long enough. It never is long enough. And I certainly now, in my older years, realize that it's not long enough. But we are here today to say thank you, dear God, that it wasn't one moment less than those 98 years or whatever years God has given our loved ones. So we're here today not only to be uh, honoring our loved ones, to be in sympathy with one another, but also to celebrate their life and to thank you, dear God, to praise, dear God, that their length of their years wasn't one moment less. Certainly, we all would like our loved ones to live on forever, and we are here today to say we praise you, dear God, that you have granted to us their length of years, whatever it may have been. My father also said to me as an inspiration, he said, son, I don't want you to cry when I pass away. I don't want you to be upset. And I said, dad, of course I'll be upset. And he looked at me and he said, did I ever want you to be upset when I'm living? And I said, no. Then he said, don't be upset when I'm gone. I only want you to be happy. I want you to live your life. Don't even blink an eye when I pass away. Go about your life and enjoy life and live life to its fullest. That would bring me a great feeling uh, now if you could agree to that and know that that's what I would like for you. And I said to my dad, I said, okay, dad, I understand. I will honor you and I won't be upset. And of course, when he did pass away unexpectedly, I was very upset, but I remembered he said, don't be upset, go about your life and live life and enjoy life to its fullest as I have done this past 30 years in honor of my dear father, Oliver Shalom, may he be at peace. Let's take a moment again and let's now turn to our prayer books. And I'd like to share with you an inspirational paraphrase that I pretty much know by heart that I have been inspired over the years. It's a, a little paraphrase Albert Einstein, the great scientist and physicist, uh, said that he was able to understand life by some simple words. And let me share them with you now, which I pray will be an inspiration to you, as it has been to me. And I quote from Albert Einstein. Strange is our situation here on Earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, yet sometimes seeming to divine a special purpose. From the standpoint of daily life, however, there is one thing that we do know for sure. We are here for the sake of others. Above all, whose smile and well-being, our own happiness depends. And also for the countless unknown souls with whose fate we are connected by a bond of sympathy. Many times a day, I realize how much my outer and inner life is built upon the labor of others of other fellow human beings, both living and dead, and how earnestly I must exert myself in order to give in return as much as I have received. So I pray that this service has brought an upliftment spirit to you. And I quote from our teachings, one who has a merry heart, even at a time such as this, has a continual feast. So in this honor, dear friends and family, let's all rise now and honor our loved ones as we recite the watchword of our faith, the affirmation of our faith that has been on the lips of our ancestors throughout the centuries as a perpetual faith in God, the Shema. Let us say together, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, which means, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Machuto Le'olam Ba'ed. 
Praise is God's name, whose glorious heavens are forever and ever. I might add a little footnote. There's one word not usually translated in the Shema when we translate from Hebrew to English. And that word, I believe, holds a profound, uplifting message for all of us. That word, which no one ever translates, is the word Israel. Of course, we know Israel to mean the state of Israel, the country Israel, but literally Israel means it's all of us. Israel means one who tries, sometimes strives, even struggles to comprehend God's ways. Perhaps we are in a moment like this, and many times in our lives, but with faith and trust in God, we shall know as we struggle through the meaning of life that everything is, I pray, you'll know with great faith, betuchun, the moon, faith and trust in God, that we shall know that everything is hakol b'seder, in perfect order, just the way God has intended it to be. So in this spirit, we remain standing. Let's turn now to the Kaddish prayer. This is a prayer that's full of life, teaching us to be thankful for the gift of life that we share with our loved ones, the life that we now share together. And one day, I pray, many years from today, there'll be a loving family and congregation as you are here today who will recite the Kaddish prayer for us. And may it be many, many years to be from today. So together we can follow along in Hebrew, phonetics, and English the Kaddish prayer. So together, let us say, Yiskadal v'yiskadash shemei rabah. V'yalamah divarach y'vasei v'yamlech machusei. V'chayachon y'vameichon y'vachayeda kal beis Yisrael. V'agalah uzman kari v'maru. Amen. Yehei shemei rabah min v'rach le'yalam olamei olamayah. Yishparak v'yishtabak v'yishparar v'yishramam v'yishnasei. Yishardar v'salei v'salal shemei l'kudishah b'riachu. Le'yalal min charber chasa v'shir rasa, tushpa chasa v'nechem asa d'yamaran b'yalama v'imaru. Amen. Yehei shalom v'rabba min shavachayim, aleinu v'yalkal Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Ose shalom b'ramav, hu yase shalom aleinu v'yalkal Yisrael v'imru. Amen. Which means in essence that we're all here today to praise God together for our loved ones' lives, for our own lives, even though God is far above all the praise that one can ever imagine. And may the shalom, the peace that we see in the heavens, may the shalom, this peace, descend to our world. May there be peace in Israel, peace in the Middle East, peace in our homes, peace in our hearts. And may we leave this Yiskor service in a few moments with shalom, with peace in our hearts, knowing we provided a wonderful mitzvah to honor our loved ones, to give to Ruma a gift in their honor, and to recite these prayers in their honor. And let us once again say, Amen. Before we conclude our Yisker service, I want to remind everyone that if you were able to follow along in our Rosh Hashanah services, both Arab and Day of Rosh Hashanah and Arab Yom Kippur in Yom Kippur services, uh, we're grateful for your presence. We're grateful for your donation, which we refer to in Hebrew as Teruma. Teruma means a generous contribution from your heart. You may do so by going online to our website, rabbionline.com, and just click in Donate Teruma or Sponsorship. We're very grateful for your generous Teruma. Moses asked the Israelite community to help build a sanctuary where God can dwell within, and he referred to that, and we refer to that as Teruma, a generous contribution. Whatever your heart moves you to give, we'll be very grateful to receive your Teruma. You may also download our High Holy Days prayer books. We have four of them, including the Yisker book, which makes five of them. And we also have a concluding Nila service you can follow along also that concludes the Day of Atonement later this afternoon. Uh, we have a break uh, between now and Nila, where we will resume our Nila service and break the fast together. In honor of our sponsors and loved ones and people who have contributed, please download our Yisker prayer book. You may find a group of names in particular. Let me just share with you a few names that have helped make this service possible this particular year, as well as all the other names over the years. We'd like to honor Stephen and Robin Morrison, Randy Levine, Michael Comras, Lily and Bob Kahn, Jonathan Frank, Laura Weiner, Reverend Thomas Jones, Scott and Sharon Levine, Arthur Landers, Mark and Candace Malice, Shelley 
Strauss, Dale and Samantha Sagotsky, Robert and Stephen Fishman, Joey Victor Weiss, David Abels, Michael Sonnenblum, Harold Collier, Carol Frank, Dr. Ernest Orfanos. In addition, those who have contributed to our Bar and Bat Mitzvah scholarship, we're very grateful for your con contribution to help Bar and Bat Mitzvah. Many kids uh, who were not able to do so, we're honored to be there with them. We also want to uh, acknowledge you for watching us online, rabbionline.com, and for participating with us. If you'd like, you may take your Yishkor prayer book with you and keep it as an inspiration for prayers that you may follow along and read throughout the year. Also, um, at any time that you'd like, you can download our Shabbat Friday night worship services that is available directly on our website. I have a couple of uh, different items that I want to share you with you. We'd like to be able to give you a Star of David heart pin. Anyone who makes a contribution of $180 or more will receive this gold-plated uh, Star of David heart pin. And in honor of our loved ones, uh, if you'd like to receive uh, additional gifts from our synagogue, feel free to give us a call. We have different types of ritual items, whether they be um, our memorial candles, or prayer books or calendars, please feel free to do so, and we will be honored to uh, respond to you. On behalf of our All People Synagogue, the staff, thank you so much for joining us for our Yisker services. I pray services have been comforting to you. I'd like to extend a benediction in your honor, so once again, let us all please rise. I stand before you as a Kohen, privileged to offer this benediction, as my father and forefathers have prayed for generations upon generations, as Kohanim, I raise my hands above your heads in the form of the letter Shin for Shaddai, and the honor of God, Shaddai Adonai. Yivrecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May God bless you and keep watch over you. Yo'er Adonai ponavi lecha v'chunecha. May God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yisra Adonai ponavi lecha v'yaseim lecha shalom. Amen. And may God watch over my fellow congregants and all those around the world, all peoples, but Knesset Kol Hamim, the synagogue for all peoples, and grant all of us an affirmation which we pray will be realized around the world of shalom, of peace. And let us say, Amen. Kenya, he wrote song, and so it shall be. I pray services are comforting, and I do pray that you'll keep in touch with us. Please feel free to email us or call us uh, uh, with the numbers that you'll see on the screen and download the prayer books. And I pray that we will see each other for many happy and joyous occasions. Particularly, I'd love to be able to officiate at your wedding ceremony, to officiate your baby blessing ceremony, bar and bat mitzvahs, and conversion to Judaism ceremonies, and all the wonderful simchas blessing your home, hanging the mezuzah, and coming to see you for many happy simchas in the future. And also, too, for not-so-happy occasions, uh, if you'd like me to be there with you to assist you in memorial service for your loved ones, it would be my honor to do so. I do have a prayer for you. Go forth and be a blessing to your family, to your friends. Honor the fifth commandment as you've done today, both uh, living parents and those parents who have passed away, to honor them and to recite their prayers in their honor. God bless you all.